Hello and welcome to the new podcast solo series that is listener supported content or listener provided content ideas. For the next 30 days, listeners will be providing me with one content idea that I can use each week. I do a new solo podcast episode in between when I do my podcast uh, guest interviews. So to help keep the, the podcast content fresh and and So you guys are listening to content that is valuable to you and that you want to listen to. So I appreciate your support. Thank you for joining me on this podcast, uh, solo podcast hearing experiment, utilizing listener provided content ideas. And without further ado, let's get going on the podcast. And this episode is brought to you by RadioGuestList.com, the number one free radio guest podcast and talk show guest expert interview booking service on the internet. This episode is brought to you by PodcastGuest.com, connecting podcasters with great guests, podcasters. Find relevant experts and other podcasters to be guests on your podcast. Experts, guests, and more. Get booked on great podcasts to expand your reach and audience. Podcastguest.com Connects podcasters with experts, authors, and other podcasters to be guests on their podcasts. Disclaimer. The information I provide to the podcast listeners of Mindset is based on my own own research and personal experience. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Not all information is factual or has scientific evidence to support it. I am simply sharing the best information I can find and finding valuable content to help you improve your mental health and well-being. Please consult your doctor or therapist before trying any of the modalities I discuss on this podcast. And welcome to episode 85 of the solo podcast series of Mindset, listener-supported content for the next 30 days. And in this episode, a, sh- a special shout out to my buddy, Aaron. And Aaron's Instagram handle for this solo podcast series episode is at Bruin Aaron. So that's at B-R-U-H-N-A-A-R-O-N. Thank you, Aaron, for the listener-provided content idea. So this episode is episode 85, The Gut-Brain Connection, How to Boost Your Mental Health with a Healthy Microbiome. Welcome to Mindset, the podcast where we explore the science of the mind-gut connection. I'm your host, Alex Muir, and today we're going to be talking about some evidence-based ways to improve your gut health and why that matters for your overall well-being. Your gut is home to trillions of microbes that help you digest food, fight off pathogens, produce vitamins, and influence your mood and your behavior. These microbes form a complex ecosystem called the gut microbiome, and keeping it balanced and diverse is essential for your health. But how do you do that? Here are some tips based on the latest research. Taking probiotics and eating fermented foods. Probiotics are live microorganisms that can boost the beneficial bacteria in your gut. You can take them as supplements or eat foods that naturally contain them, such as yogurt, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, and tempeh. Fermented foods are also provide other nutrients and antioxidants that can benefit your health. Eat prebiotic fiber. Prebiotics are non-digestible carbohydrates that feed the, the probiotics in your gut. They help them grow and multiply, creating a more favorable environment for your gut microbiome. Some foods that are rich in prebiotic fiber are asparagus, bananas, chicory, garlic, onions, and whole grains. Eating less sugar and sweeteners. Sugar and artificial sweeteners can disrupt the balance of your gut microbiome, favoring harmful bacteria over beneficial ones. This can lead to inflammation, metabolic problems, and mood disorders. Try to limit your intake of sugary and processed foods and opt for natural sweeteners like honey or stevia instead. Reducing stress. 
Stress can negatively affect your gut health by altering the composition and function of your gut microbiome. Stress can also increase intestinal permeability, allowing toxins and bacteria to leak into your bloodstream and cause inflammation. To reduce stress, practice relaxation techniques like meditation, yoga, breathing exercises, or massage. Avoid taking antibiotics unnecessarily. Antibiotics are drugs that kill bacteria both good and bad. While they can be life-saving in some situations, they can also damage your gut microbiome by wiping out beneficial bacteria and creating resistance in harmful ones. Only take antibiotics when prescribed by your doctor and follow the instructions carefully. You may also want to take probiotics during and after antibiotic treatment to help restore your gut flora. Exercise regularly. Exercise can improve your gut health by increasing the diversity and abundance of beneficial bacteria in your gut. Exercise can also reduce inflammation, improve blood sugar levels, and enhance immune function. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity per week, or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity. So when they say 75 minutes of vigorous intensity activity, uh, that can include activity like uh, high intensity interval training or HIIT training for short. Getting enough sleep or sleeping well. Sleep is crucial for your gut health as it affects the circadian rhythm of your gut microbiome. The circadian rhythm is the natural cycle of biological processes that occur in a 24 hour period. It regulates the activity and the function of your gut microbes, as well as their interactions with your body. Lack of sleep or irregular sleep patterns can disrupt this rhythm and can cause imbalances in your gut flora. This can lead to inflammation, obesity, diabetes, and mood disorders. Try to get at least seven hours of quality sleep per night and maintain a consistent sleep schedule. Avoid disinfectants. Disinfectants are chemicals that kill germs on surfaces or objects. While they can be useful for preventing infections, they can also harm your gut microbiome by killing beneficial bacteria or altering their gene expression. This can reduce their ability to protect you from harmful pathogens and influence your immune system. Instead of using disinfectants, Use mild detergents or soap and water to clean your home. Quit smoking. Smoking can damage your gut health by altering the composition and function of your gut microbiome. Smoking can increase the number of harmful bacteria in your gut. Reduce the number of beneficial ones and impair their metabolic activity. Smoking can also increase inflammation, oxidative stress, intestinal permeability, and the risk of inflammatory bowel disease and colorectal cancer. Quitting smoking can improve your gut health by restoring the balance and diversity of your gut flora. These are some of the ways you can improve your gut health based on scientific evidence. By following these tips, you can not only enhance your digestive function, but also support your mental health, immune system, heart health, and longevity. Thank you for listening to Mindset today. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our podcast and leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're leaving a rating and review and comment on Apple Podcasts, you have to have an iTunes account to do so. Here are the sources I used for this episode. Uh, I have a link for Medical News Today, NCBI, health.harvard.edu, and a bunch of other links related to NCBI. And you can find the links in the description of the show notes of this episode. I thank you all for listening and really appreciate your time. And I look forward to sharing the next episode. Stay tuned for that for next week's episode. I won't be any sharing any sneak peek. It's going to be a surprise. But I appreciate my listener uh, supported and provided content ideas. And let's give another shout out and a thank you to uh, my buddy Aaron for providing this episode idea for episode 85, the gut-brain connection, how to boost your mental health. How to boost your mental health with a healthy microbiome. And again, Aaron's Instagram is at Brune Aaron. That's at B R U H N A A R O N. Appreciate you all listening and see y'all next time. Are you ready to take your mind and body to the next level? Look no further than Mindset, the podcast that's all about unlocking your true potential. And now we've teamed up with a brand that's as dedicated to recovery as we are. Introducing New Recover Ice Bath. Hey there, 
podcast listeners. It's your host, Alex here, and I've got some exciting news for you. If you're looking to supercharge your recovery after those intense workouts, or just want to experience the incredible benefits of cold therapy, new recovery is your ultimate solution. Picture this, you've pushed your limits, and now it's time to treat your body to the rejuvenating power of an ice bath. New Recover Ice Bath offers a r- range of top quality products designed to help you bounce back faster and stronger. From your, their innovative ice bath tubs, to their specially formulated recovery accessories, New Recover has it all. But wait, there's more. As a valued listener of Mindset, you're in for a treat. When you use my exclusive discount code, Alex36631, at checkout, you'll get a fantastic 15% off on any New Recover product purchased through my affiliate link. That's right, a 15% discount to elevate your recovery game. So whether you're an athlete aiming for peak performance or someone who simply wants to feel invigorated every day, New Recover Ice Bath is your ticket to unparalleled recovery. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to invest in your well-being. Remember, it's not just an ice bath, it's a lifestyle upgrade. Head over to our affiliate link to explore the New Recover range and embrace the power of recovery like never before. Don't forget to use code Alex36631 for that exclusive 15% discount. Thank you for supporting Mindset and taking this exciting journey with us. Here's to unlocking your potential and recovering the new recover way. Mindset and new recover, because your mind and body deserve the best. Start your journey today. I hope you all enjoyed that listener provided content idea episode for this podcast solo series, 30 days worth of exper- uh, content ideas experiment, where my listeners provide content ideas for the next 30 days for my future solo podcast or solo podcast episodes. Thank you all for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to provide feedback, please do so. Comment, rate, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, please leave a short review on Apple Podcasts. Um, and if you enjoy the content and you have any feedback, you want to get some more content ideas, please uh, reach out to me uh, at my Instagram at mind.sep. That's at M as a mic, I N D dot C E P at mind.sep. If you want to uh, DM me about additional content ideas you'd like to see for future solo podcast episodes. Thank you all for listening and see you guys for next week's episode.